here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 is getting loose. Okay, Moomin, you'd better have a look before this wind has the whole tent down. Aye, aye, Captain. A sudden storm has hit the Happy Fattener's Island. Moomin Papa has decided that it would be far safer to stay the night on the island, so they put up the tent and moored the boat. This will show us what the weather's up to. That's as long as it's still working. I'm sure it's going to die down really soon. Oh, wake up, Mr. Hamelin. When the storm clears, we must give this barometer straight back to the Hattie Fatners. Oh, I quite fancy keeping it myself to remind me of the island. You know, it seems to work after all. But, Mr. Hamelin, that'll only remind you of the horrible Hattie Fatners. What about all the tons of plants you found? That surely is going to be enough? Yes, I know, but there was only really one special flower amongst all those plants, and I nearly missed that one. Look, isn't it a beauty? I discovered it as I was about to tie up the boat. Oh, woman, Papa. Yes, Mr. Hamlin. You know, when you all went to put up the tent, you told me to tie up the boat so she was safe. Yes, of course. Well, I'm not sure if I did. Not sure at all. Please try to remember, Mr. Hamelin. Yeah, I can't. It's all very unclear in my mind. If the boat's not here, we'll be stuck on the island forever and ever. Well, we pulled it well ashore, so it should be okay. But we'd better check on it as soon as we can. I'll go have a look. Quickly, moment. Be careful. I remember I was just going to do it when I spotted this flower. Just by a rock it was. Oh dear. Come in. Make sure it's tight. Oh, that should do it. Just in time. You know, the waves must have been huge to have reached this far. Well, we saved the boat. Yes. Well, the storm will be over soon. Is everything okay? Yep, everything's fine. So we're not stranded after all. Huh? No. We needn't have worried. I'm very sorry. Really, I am. Are you all right, Snort Maiden? Now I am. Ah, 
According to this, the storm is blowing over now and it should stop mm. raining soon. Well, the wind seems to have dropped. Oh, good. All that thunder and lightning is so noisy. Ah, right. I think I'll just go for a bit of a walk before I settle down for the night. But it's much too dark to see anything. The fresh air will do me good. Oh, ah, that's a good idea. I could do with some fresh air myself. Wait for me. I'll come too. Let me in quick out What's of the, the way. Ah! They're still there, hundreds of them all glowing. The Hattie Fat Nurse. They're waiting for us. The lightning must have recharged them. Look at them all. I wonder what they want, Snufkin. Such a heavy storm would have given them lots and lots of energy. Gosh, they're ready for anything. Oh, they're not coming any closer. They seem fairly friendly. Maybe they just want to see what we look like. No, I know what they're here for. Oh, what's that, Snufkin? It's their barometer, Moom and Papa. They know we've got it, and they've come to get it back from us. Yes, I think you're right, Snufkin. Mr. Hamelin, I do think you'd better give it back to them. Do I have to? Yes, of course. After all, it is theirs, and there are a lot of them. Look, why don't you take it out to them now? <sighs> you know, the barometer does belong to them, Mr. Hamelin. Oh, dear, dear. Give it to me. Let me do it, Papa. Well done, my boy. You must be careful, my dear. Don't worry, Mama. Oh, boy, isn't he brave? This is what you've come for. Here you are. You can have it back now. something. I'm real glad there's no electricity where we live. Oh, they didn't hurt you, did they? Ah! Go away! Leave her alone! Are you all right, Snork Maiden? What did he do to you? Just a bit of shock, that's all. What's that funny smell? <gasps> oh my golly, it's your hair! What? What do you... What do you mean? What's happened to it? Oh, no, my hair. Mama, Mama! Where's your mirror? Oh, Mama! Oh, look at what those wicked Hattie Fatteners have done. It's here in my handbag somewhere. Hurry, Mama! I must see what's happened to my hair! Here you are, dear. Look at me! Look at me! It's awful! It's horrible. It's horrible. Don't worry. We'll put some magic ointment on and it'll come back all lovely and curly. I don't want nasty curly hair. I want my long, beautiful hair like it was before. <laughs> you know, it really doesn't matter to me, Snort Maiden. <laughs> Done. Oh, good. I hope that's the last we see of them. Oh, dear, what's happened to Snork Maiden? My hair, my hair, where's my hair?
wake up moment. We gotta hurry. I wonder where they're going. Perhaps they're sailing away to a secret island. Somewhere very far away from here, where they can live happily on their own, together. Gosh, Snufkin, they're really weird. Well, it depends on how you look at it, Moomin. They probably think we're a bit strange, too. You're really horrible. You knew I wanted to see them. Come on, you were fast asleep, snoring your head off. That wasn't me snoring, that was Mr. Hemulin. All right, if you say so. Well, I hope that's the last I'll see of them. Me too. That's a very pretty scarf, Snork made him. Yes, it is, isn't it? Can we go exploring, Mama? I don't see why not. It looks as though it'll be a nice day, and there'll be lots of exciting things washed up by the storm. Oh, that'll be fun. Let's look for the other side of the island. What a good idea. I might discover some more plants. <laughs> Interesting. Just think, we could find all sorts of things lying on the sand. I hope it's secret sunken treasure. Well, let's hope it's not sunken anymore. I expect there'll be lots and lots of treasures from shipwrecks and things like that. Bet I find it before you! Oh, no, you won't. Look at all this! It's all mine! I'm gonna dive in! What's that over there? It's quite shallow right here. Well, there must be something hidden in it. Oh dear, it's empty! I think I found something here. Little Mai! Little Mai! What's the matter? Come and see these beautiful shells I have. I'm too busy hunting for treasure to bother with shells. Ah. Hey, what's this? <coughs> oh, look at this one. I've got a real collection here. They'll look lovely in Mama's garden. Wow, what's that? What? I can't find any as nice as yours. Don't be in such an awful hurry, little Mai. Snark maiden! Snark maiden! Look! Look what I found! A proper treasure! Look! Oh, there's snow inside of it. I found it in a cave. What is it? What's this? It's a ship's telescope. You can see for miles with it. I'll give it to Papa. It's better than anything I got. Hey, everybody. I found something. Come on up and have a look. I wish I could find something interesting. Have you found some buried treasure? What a big lady! Is she dead? It's made of wood, Snork Maiden. It's a figurehead from a ship.
She's like a queen. Ha! She hasn't got any legs, though. Why don't we put her on the front of our boat? Nah, it's much too heavy. It must have come from a ship that was wrecked. And sank at sea? Perhaps it did. And all hands were lost. I want to take it home. What would you do with it? Use her to frighten people away. Help! Somebody help me, please! That's old Mr. Hemulin. Gosh, I hope it's not more Hattie Fatners. Someone help, please! We're coming! Moomin, why do you like this old figurehead so much? You're staring at her. She's not all that special, you know. Yes, I know. She's not even real. Only made of wood. Ah. Oh. Do you like her eyes? Mm. Or is it her hair? <laughs> Just because I haven't got any. Nearly there. Just a bit further. Come on, Snuff. Get by. Pull harder. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, 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 You're very heavy, Mr. Hemulin. Uh, oh, oh, thank you, Snuffkin. You uh, saved my life. Oh. Oh. Boy, how'd you end up in there, Mr. Hemulin? One minute I was looking for plants, the next I'd fallen right into that hole. I think you'd be safer collecting stamps, Mr. Hemulin. Oh, no, it's not here. Where is it? Oh, oh. What is it now? Oh, oh. Tell me. Ah, uh, may the booble preserve me. Calm down, Mr. Hemulin. Tell me what's the matter. My sample box, my sample box. Oh, my goodness. You didn't leave it in the hole, did you? Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, dear. All my precious samples. I'm so silly. Oh, Snuffkin. Oh, oh Snuffkin, would you mind? Okay, anything for some peace. Oh, dear boy, you are wonderful. You shall have one of my rarest plants as a reward. Indeed you shall. I shall choose a magnificent one for you. Thank you very much, Mr. Hemulin. Gosh, I wonder where Moomin is. Oh, there you are. What have you been up to? He can't take his eyes off that silly wooden lady. He just stares at her. Really? I do not. I just think she has a very beautiful face. Well, Moomin, now that you're here, I could really do with your help. What do you want, Snuffkin? Mr. Hemulin dropped his box of samples down this hole, and I'm going to try and get it. I didn't drop it. I fell in the hole and just forgot it when Snuffkin pulled me out. I... <sighs> you're a bit absent-minded, Mr. Hemulin. No, I'm not. I can remember every Latin name of every single plant, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll go down, Moomin, but you'll have to help me get back up. Okay. I'll help you too. Now be careful. Can you see it yet, Snuffkin? I'm not down at the bottom yet. Oh, forgive me. I'm sorry. I found it. Wonderful. Tell me, are the plants all right? You can check them yourself in a minute. Oh. Are you all right, Snuffkin? Wait a minute. I found something else. There's the boat! It's Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa! Oh. Hello! It's gold! Hello! We've been hunting treasure! Go and get Moomin Papa! I found gold! Boy, oh boy, I wonder how much there is. Moomin Papa will know. Well, Moom and Papa, what should we do with all this beautiful gold? Mm, it would look lovely in the garden, don't you think? With all the shells that the Snork Maiden found, they'll look good in amongst the roses. What do you think, Mama? I'm sure they will, Papa. I'm sure they will. Moomin, she's only a stupid legless doll. You can have my bowl full of snow, Snork Maiden. No, thanks. 
Well, I'll look after it for you. I can pretend it's my treasure. Oh. And that was the end of their first adventure in the new boat. Moom and Papa decided that it was much more fun to set off without maps and sea charts. You never know where you might end up. They love the laughter and they love the living, the romance. Believing and sharing and caring and giving the moments. They're always happy and always at play. The moments are having fun day after day. The moments, the moments. They love the laughter and they love the living. The moments, believing and sharing and caring and giving. The moments, they're always happy and always at play. The moments are having fun day after day, the moon.